Good morning, everyone. On this Wednesday after Epiphany, uh, we're continuing our readings in the Office of Readings for this week. And today we have a sermon uh, that is entitled, The Waters Are Made Holy. Christ appeared in the world and bringing beauty out of disarray, gave it luster and joy. He bore this world's sins and crushed the world's enemy. He sanctified the fountains of waters and enlightened the minds of men. Into the fabric of miracles, he interwove ever greater miracles. For on this day, land and sea share between them the grace of the Savior, and the whole world is filled with joy. Today's feast of the Epiphany manifests even more wonders than the feast of Christmas. On the feast of the Savior's birth, the earth rejoiced because it bore the Lord in a manger. But on today's feast of the Epiphany, it is a sea that is glad and leaps for joy. The sea is glad because it receives the blessing of holiness in the river Jordan. At Christmas, we saw a weak baby giving proof of our weakness. In today's feast, we see a perfect man hinting at the perfect son who proceeds from the all-perfect father. At Christmas, the king puts on the royal robe of his body. At Epiphany, the very source unfolds and, as it were, closes the river. Come then and see new and astounding miracles, the sun of righteousness washing in the Jordan, fire immersed in water, God sanctified by the ministry of man. Today, every creature shouts in resounding song, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in every age, for this is not his first coming. And who is he? Tell us more clearly, I beg you, blessed David. The Lord is God, and he has shown upon us. David is not alone in prophesying this, the Apostle Paul adds his own witness, saying, The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation for all men and instructing us, not for some men, but for all, to Jews and Greeks alike. God bestows salvation through baptism, offering baptism as a common grace for all. Con come, consider this new and wonderful deluge, greater and more important than the flood of Noah's day. Then the water of the flood destroyed the human race, but now the water of baptism has recalled the dead to life by the power of the one who is by the one who baptized. In the days of the flood, the dove with an olive branch in its beak foreshadowed the fragrance of the good odor, odor of Christ the Lord. Now the Holy Spirit coming in the likeness of a dove, dove reveals the Lord of mercy. Interesting words to ponder. Stay safe, folks. Hopefully we see each other soon. Bye for now.